to me it's the spirit that is the religious thing. The spirit that the purity of the spirit in everyone I feel I don't even have to name it as God but if I had to I would say yes I am I belong to God but I don't belong to a religion but I was Catholic and I have nothing against you religion. lost your faith or a kind of a get distance with God in, during uh, your camping your no campaign. I always uh, I sometimes prayed of long times I didn't, but um, I don't have, if I would now go to church every Sunday, I would feel like I'm trying to be something that I'm not. And I, it, does, it doesn't have a denial with it. I don't say I don't have religion or religion. You're not anti-theistic. You're atheist. No, I'm not as atheistic. I can't tolerate the thought of that. I understand it, but I can't tolerate it. It negates m myself. To negate God would be to negate myself. And that, I've never said it this way, so, but that has to be good enough. So I'm not a person that goes to church or that um, I have respect for religion. I have respect for it. Uh, but as it, I can do it. You don't practice rituals? No, that kind of... no. The rituals I practice is um, this thing I say, this love. Just always see the, get to the love. And when I can do that, I feel safe. <laughs> and <laughs> I feel I'm home. And when I, uh, when I can't get to that, I know I'm in the world, and I can do that too, but I, I prefer the other. <laughs> and it, it has something to do with art, I practice it in art, um, because you give in to one color and other, and it makes itself in you, and it's, not, um, it's very nice because you don't have to deal with the other person's inabilities, you know. And the first question fell on my mind was, uh, what was uh, you missing the most when you uh, went to America from from here? Could you find the, the yeah. optimal uh, exterior over there? The only thing, uh, there, there isn't any thing like you have a snenad or I have a snenad. There is that connection, that close... Christmas. Yeah. Gone. No, not there. It's typical of Slavs, a Slavic Maybe. way of life. Maybe, yes, because in Germany it isn't there either, no. for me. So, uh, it may be better... They didn't like you so much in Germany. What? You was a kind of a, a stone on the, on the back for Germans. I didn't... Um, in other words, when you're alienated, yeah. you're alienated because you're out of your home. So people that are banished uh, in any... They, they feel this because they always they don't belong. They mm -hmm. want, uh, and everybody does want to belong. It's not that you have to be the same as others, but you want to belong, and that's what I missed. But there was all aliens in the United States, so you shouldn't have that feeling over there. There, it's again ideology. Aliens, they're not aliens. They they came there a long time ago, oh, yeah. and it's just like here in the Voivodina. I mean, the, everybody comes. The, for yeah, <laughs> the, so in other words, um, I think what sometimes I also have ideologies, <laughs> as you can tell by my speaking. But um, I think sometimes we forget that actually the soil itself, the ground itself, uh, as the social, socialization, but the ground itself, like plants and trees and stuff, yes. does something to us and uh, to feel alienated out of your family of people that who you are familiar with. And as I said in my book, I try to describe this first how it was. People read it and say, what idealism? 
No, it isn't. It's I not. It's no, reality. it's not. It's reality. The thing is, where I found a home in America was in art, because that has no divisions, and so I uh, felt I feel better among among artistic artists, yes. and even Hammerstiel. When I say <laughs> we sind aus der Schachtel gefallen, uh, Hammerstiel has this. Um, I mean, he has this crazy energy that just makes him run. Uh, run, 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 run. run. Curious. And, and I have that same energy that sits and waits, sits and waits. I'm so tired of waiting. I don't want to wait anymore. <laughs> I can't wait anymore. So he, um, but I understand him because it comes out of the same thing. And so I like artists. Uh, because I don't feel alien among them. Even if they fight or they're jealous and they're petty and stuff like that, I recognize my kin. And so when I come here in the village, I still recognize that beginning kinship. And um, no, I just, uh, no, there, there is no damage. <laughs> well, maybe there is some damage and maybe, I don't know their measures, where, but where it's I not fall. hate, it's not deformations. No, no. And it's extreme love or art, or like you, I think it was great that you that recognized. That is extraordinary for me. What? That is uh, fantastic for me. Oh, it's, it's the, the, um, it, I don't know how it started or if you get this as a gift or something, I, um, I think I always had it, and in the hardest of times in in the thing, that's one thing I wanted to tell you uh, when you asked before, and I, I wanted to say what I recognized in the guards, in the hardest of times, I had the opportunity as a child, and the blessing of this language that I learned from my mother's friend, huh? Detka Mata, uh, that was our best friend. It wasn't the quite usual thing. He, you know, these ethnic groups kept a little bit separate. <laughs> uh, and she, but she had this best friend who was Sir, and she came every day, so I learned this language with my own. And so um, that was a blessing. Uh, I could talk to the guards, and I could sing. <laughs> yeah. As a child, I could sing, uh, but I only learned it at, uh, with the Serb children, playing with the Serb children. That was only one song I knew. You reminded them on their own children, maybe. Maybe. And so I could see the humanity in the guard through the language. And um, years later, maybe it was three years ago when I, was, uh, um, I visited some who had been in the camp and he was my age and he I heard him tell other people how I sang and he said and you know it made a difference <laughs> so maybe the guards got human but I wasn't watching that and it wasn't me that did it but what you just said maybe then other children saw that but I always um, felt that um, not that I could manipulate or count on it, that I got the glimpse of home uh, through this. And the, the guards at the fire that shot up and, sh you know, that one was so afraid just by coincidence. And it was like this always throughout, not that I went to seek it, but um, then it came right to the thing to recognize this human spirit. and. It happened that it nurtured this love in me. It brought the evil in them, you know. uh, well, in the moment. I don't know what it did to them. I'm just saying what it did to me. Yes. There was a time that I wrote maybe 10, 15, 20 poems in Serbo-Croatian. And I, words would come that I wouldn't know exactly that they mean that. I don't look it up and there they were. So in other words, um, these things work in you, and I have talked so much about myself now, I probably never will be normal again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.